is nothing else in the world of sailing to compare with Cow's Week. To holidaymakers in their thousands, it brings a thrill and a spectacle they never forget. There are races for all classes of yachts. Nearly 400 little ships are there, so competitors in every class sail under expert eyes. Cars Regatta, which pessimists said would not survive the World War, has come into its own. A useful wind sped the yachts over the course. Only the older generation nowadays remembers the millionaire's great J-class yachts. They've gone forever. Today, yachting is the sport of thousands, and scores of small and medium-sized racing craft reflect the democratic change. But it's still a royal regatta at Cowes, hence the presence of Britannia, an added attraction for holidaymakers. Not only the royal yacht, there was a royal competitor. Prince Philip, with that famous small yacht enthusiast and designer, Upper Fox, was at the helm of Cowslip in the race for flying 15s. That event came under the Royal London Yacht Club Regatta. Harassed now and then by sightseers sailing too close and with press men in close attendance, the Duke won seventh place. A good enough performance to encourage him to race again the next day. Most of the time there was a stronger breeze than on the previous day. the Duke were Uffa Fox and Sea Smith in Blue Bottle. This Dragon Class yacht was a present from the Island Sailing Club to the Queen and Prince Philip. Later, several vessels had their spinnakers out, a magnificent sight. The international 12 meters naturally excited interest among the experts in view of the possibility of another British challenge for the America's Cup. For the cruising yachts too, it was a nearly perfect day. The inspiring sight of cows stirs the ambition in thousands of landsmen to join the growing army of those who, at weekends and on holidays, go down to the sea in yachts. <laughs> 